Hey man, he brought Ben Bilal coming back at you with another edition of this Boomer's Logic, man. And I'm definitely coming at you with some Boomer Logic, man. Um, <clears throat> I want to do a week recap with my daughters and commend a certain group of people and warn a certain group of people. But before we do that, man, uh, if you haven't already, go to this page, man, uh, this channel, man, Hebron Ben Malau, Backyard Chronicles. I mean, excuse me, Boomer's Logic. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell for notification. I know I might seem a little weary right now, but I am. Uh, my wife asked me this morning before I left um, what was wrong with me. She thought that it, maybe it was something she had did or maybe the kids had did because it was a lot going on in my house yesterday. It's been a lot going on in there for the week. But it wasn't. It's just it's just me. And I want to explain why. I have six kids. <clears throat> and I have uh, only, with all my children, I have four different kids' mothers, children's mothers. And um, after this week, I really thought that I knew about, you know, because I was there, talked to my kids. So I thought that I actually knew about rearing and raising children. And what it entailed to be a stay-at-home parent um, 24 hours a day. And I don't think that a lot of us men really understand. After yesterday, I really, really sat down and I examined and thought about my wife overall this week. And I'll get to my daughter and other women in just a second. And <clears throat> watching her navigate and move about yesterday was amazing to me. My grand, my granddaughters um, start range from nine months to eight years old. There's only three of them. They're all girls. And the amazement and appreciation that I had watching this woman work with these kids yesterday. And I think I contributed maybe 45 minutes. I mean, seriously, I think my, my contribution was maybe um, 45 minutes at best uh, with with helping out with them yesterday. I, I actually cooked. I was uh, I was tired. You know what I'm saying? Wore out. Took my granddaughter to the pool. Um, but man, look. For, for us men who ask women, I'm, I'm going to take you back. It was a video I shot the other day, right? Because I, I could sit and explain to you everything that went on in my house yesterday. And for this entire week, and it would not, it, you just could not even clearly, you couldn't appreciate what this woman has done this week and what other women do on a daily basis in regard to raising your children. And I'm talking to you dudes, man. I made a video this week where um, it's called uh, preference, something, something about choices, something about choices or preference, uh, personal preference or personal choice or whatever. It's about a guy and he's asking these women on this panel about what they bring to the table. And one of the women, Erica, talks about she makes the house a home. That she's basically the homemaker. She takes care of the home, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Listen, let me explain something to you. After what I've seen and what I have lived over the course of this week. And once again, I'm a grandfather. This is a person who thought he knew because I have children. I have uh, contributed in regards to the rearing, but I've never actually had one of my children living under my roof where I actually had the ability. I thought that paying, you know what I'm saying, and giving money was the absolute, you know what I'm saying, end all be all. And these women shouldn't complain. And they all, da, da, da. let me explain something to you. The nine-month-old, this woman cannot move without having the nine-month-old on her hip because the nine-month-old is not having it. So everything that she really actually is able to um, accomplish, she has to do in between the nine-month-old's nine naps. So the multitasking that I, that I have witnessed over the week, this week, the ability to take care of so many different tasks in the span of 45 minutes to an hour. I'm just overwhelmed. I'm floored. 
And then she still has the ability to tend to me, make sure I'm okay, and to take care of these three young children. She sits with these girls, she watches television with them, she interacts with them, she um, does projects with them, and then she still has to take care of this nine month old. And the way she cooks, she cleans. Listen, man, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this to all you nappy headed ingrates, you, you cats, man, look, you, uh, to all you men, let me say this to you. The next time you ask a woman, what she brings to the table. And she answers like that girl, Erica. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the video. And they say, I make that house a home. That means that she takes care of you and your stanking dirty drawers. And she takes care of them little babies that she pushed up out of her that you put in her. And if she does that, man, what I have seen, her job does it in. I felt guilty. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I felt guilty complaining about my sore feet and this and this, and this man this woman woke me up two times in the middle of the night because my granddaughters kept running back there waking her up first it was a bug then they heard something outside she got her job does not end her job starts at seven about seven thirty in the morning when my grandbaby empress wakes up her job literally does not end until them kids go to sleep <laughs> She's a maid, a nanny, a teacher, uh, a disciplinarian. She is everything, man. And I can plan going out here, man, doing this little uh, stuff until 3 o'clock. And I come in and talk about how my feet hurt, man. And, and these people were so rude. And, and, man, they were just, man, they don't understand. And this and this. Listen, man. Number one, I tip my hat to my wife, man, because I watched this woman. She didn't. She doesn't have multiple children. She has my one son. He's special needs, but she has a pattern down for him. Structure, order. But how I watched this woman take a, in an emergency situation, because we didn't know our kids, our grandbabies was coming. It was an automatic need, and to watch her, man, and I think, and I understand now what it takes to be a homemaker, a mother. Now I see why most of you women want this, want this, uh, go out to work and it, yeah, cause this is way harder. That stuff y'all doing, going to punch a clock and having to deal with a couple personalities for nine, 10 hours a day, man, that ain't nothing compared to what I seen this woman going through for a week. And I commend my daughter because my daughter says a lot about, you know what I'm saying? How, how you know, hey, look, I need a break. You know what I'm saying? This and this and this. Look, hey, look, man, I have to reconsider Um, as far as like <laughs> the limitations that I have with my daughter and these babies. Because, man, for her to do this on an everyday basis and now she's about to homeschool. Man, listen to all you men out there. If you ask a woman what she brings to the table. And she says, man, I could take that house you got and make it into a home. You better take her, snatch her up. If she's serious, snatch her up, handcuff her. Tie her to a chain in your basement and don't let her go, man. Don't let her go because you cats do not even, you can't even start to remotely understand. I, I contribute 45 minutes yesterday and that wasn't nothing. I was exhausted. And I'm sitting there looking at her, man, and she's just bouncing around and she's doing what she do. She's got that baby on her hip. Every time the baby go to sleep, she's washing. She's doing laundry. She's folding clothes. She's washing dishes. She's cleaning up behind me. She's making sure I ate. She's making sure the girls ate. The baby gets up. She's making bottles. She's running. She's changing diapers. Man, look, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you something. I'm going to say this, and I'm, I'm going to end on this right here. First off, go back and watch my video. If a sister say that, what that girl Erica said, this is what I bring to the table and take notes. Nick Road, you better take notes because what I have seen, I, I thought that I had knew this. I thought I understood it, but I really didn't understand it until watching this week. And I took it all in yesterday as I watched this woman because I really watched it yesterday because my, my granddaughter Empress was really fussy yesterday. And she really had to put a lot of work in because I guess Empress didn't take as many naps as she regularly does yesterday. To watch her navigate, man, it was impressive. 
I'm impressed. I'm impressed by all you women who have children, man, and you are home and you're raising them and you're doing this, especially you women with multiple children, man, and, and you're doing it and you and then you oh man some of y'all are single that made me feel so guilty yesterday man so bad because of the way that i have done my kids mothers man the way that i walked out on them and left them with those responsibilities man it is man that thing that bothered me last night and it bothered me this morning to see how she worked and moved and she asked me yesterday Hold your grandbaby for 15 minutes, I gotta do something. And I really, I, I, cause I was tired, cause I was out all day yesterday. Then I had to take Serena to the pool and, and then when I watched her, man, and she worked all the way up until about 10.30 before she could even lay down. From 7.30 in the morning to 10.30, man. You niggas better not, I better not hear never one of you niggas get on here again and cry and ask what a woman is bringing to the table. And if she says something like that, you grill and examine her. I will find you and I will put my foot in your, and man, listen. Hey, man, I, hey, listen, I'm not here to pander to women, but I'm telling you now, you sisters, man, who are doing this, y'all amazing as hell to me. Pass this along to your baby daddy. Let him know the Hebron said this. Yeah, I said it. If you had you one and you just had to worry about her nagging a little bit or something like that, she wasn't out there cheating on you, she wasn't out there acting like a, 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 a what do y'all call them, throts or whatever it is, and she wasn't on Instagram showing her with JJ and all that type of stuff, you need to keep her. If all you got to do is worry about her complaining and, and moaning a little bit, whining about her situation a little bit, man, listen, if that's the worst, from what I've seen, and you got kids, I love to see one of This is what I want. Quit your job, let her go to work, and you be Mr. Mom. You niggas be pulling your hair. I, I couldn't wait to go to work this morning. I couldn't wait to get the hell out of that house. I said, man, I got to hurry and go to work. I woke up. <laughs> man, I just, I, I'm going to take this time once again, send you back to that video. Watch it again. I salute, man, all you mothers, man, who are doing this, man. Kudos to y'all, man. I love y'all. I love my wife for what she's doing. I love my daughters. Man, I can't praise y'all enough. Can't praise y'all enough. Y'all need another day. All that Mother's Day, let's forget that. We're going to have, we're going to start something called a uh, uh, Woman Appreciation Day because, man, y'all need to be appreciated. I'm not about to push y'all to the front, but, man, y'all need to uh, get more acclaim for what I've just seen during the week, man. Love y'all, man. I just want to make this video and upload it real quick while I'm out and about doing my thing. Love y'all, man. Y'all have a good rest of the day. Oh, I got a couple more hot videos coming for y'all. So just stay tuned. Love y'all, man. And kiss your mama today. Kiss your son's mama. Kiss your, your daughter's mama. Whoever. And, and and for these cats running around talking about, oh, don't date a single mom. Yeah. It, uh, man, listen. Shouldn't be those single mothers out there from what I've seen. All right, man. Y'all have a good one, man.